London AIM listed Applied Graphene Materials is a company that came out of research at Durham University. It retains ownership of the intellectual property for a wide range of products that the company says can enhance paints and coatings, lubricants and other fluids, and electric batteries and energy storage. It's just produced interim results, which because the company is still in its early stages don't really mean an awful lot, but it has cash on the balance sheet of £8.2 million. Pounds. Dr. Adrian Potts is chief executive. He joins us now. Uh, welcome. Before we get into the company, tell me first of all what it is about graphene that is so important. Yeah, so graphene materials technology has fascinated me since I joined the company in 2015. Um, we've come a long way since then in terms of uh, simple materials technology and producing graphene nanoplatelets. And the real uh, aim of applied graphene materials, the clues in the name, uh, applied graphene, we're taking that technology and really coming a long way in terms of how to figure out how to realise the performance benefits that have been promised with graphene for many years into real applications. One of the things I know uh, from reading around the company is that you are actually specialising in one particular area. I read out at the top a wide range of subjects that you're covering, but I believe that paints is the real driving force at the moment of your time and attention. What is it about that and how you're applying the product to paints to give it that edge? Yeah, so um, paints and coatings is... Uh, by far and away the largest number of commercial engagements that we have currently. Uh, that's based on uh, the technology that we have developed. And if you look at paints, they are complicated things to add graphene to, uh, where we have seen significant performance advantage in terms of barrier performance, in terms of anti-corrosion benefits, in terms of chemical resistance potential in paints and coatings, um, utilizes the impermeability properties of graphene. Um, we've come a long way in terms of technology development um, to realise those performance gains and now we're able to take those to market in a really meaningful way. And the crown jewels of what we have as a business is not just graphene manufacturing but being able to integrate that into real systems. And are you at the stage of actually having developed something that you can now market and sell or are you still in that process of uh, achieving what you believe to be the ultimate product to take to market? So there are a number of aspects to that. So we manufacture graphene materials and we supply those in what we call a dispersed format. So um, for the layman, um, what you would buy from us would be a bottle of graphene in a liquid. And that liquid could be a solvent or water or uh, matrix resins that are used uh, in the coatings industry. Um, where we have got to with that is a wide range of technology uh, engagements with customers. As you would imagine, that's an iterative process, involves a, a time-consuming process to uh, prove out that the product will work in their specific formulation. And that really is what we're all about. And how far away are you from actually getting that to market? Is there a lot of chemical uh, development still to come or are you very close? Yeah, so we're close to product launch with uh, a number of customers now. So uh, um, our kind of flagship customer, if you like, in terms of early launch is a company called JBL or James Briggs. Uh, they're involved in automotive refinish paints and uh, are close to launching a graphene enhanced product primer product. Mm. What about the other areas I was talking about, the, the, the lubrications, the um, electric batteries and so forth? How much of, um, I know they're, they're a bit in the background compared to paints, but how important are they to you to the future development of the company? Yeah, so uh, our prime focus is in coatings initially, really about um, how to realise early revenue. Our, our key focus as a business right now following strategic review is on the next six to 12 months. It has to be to realise revenue from uh, that pipeline. But in the longer term, uh, there are some tremendous opportunities for graphene, looking at the batteries market, looking at um, our working composite materials, where uh, you can take graphene and apply it selectively. We've developed a proprietary ink and printing process to uh, create a very targeted approach for composite materials, whereby we can improve the mechanical performance of things that are used in aircraft and automotive applications. Mm -hmm. What sort of companies are you talking to there? I mean, can you do any big names that you've got there which you're talking to which could actually end up using the product? Yeah, so um, our biggest, uh, biggest near-term opportunity is with Airbus Space and Defence, um, and uh, the product there will be used in satellite applications. And uh, in terms of describing what the product does, it's a very, very high thermal conductivity 
material that combines with low density and that provides a great opportunity for enhanced performance in those types of applications. Mm. What's, the, um, what's the strategy that you're following? You've outlined the products, you've outlined where you're specialising at the moment, but in terms of overall strategy and, and management team behind that, uh, what can you tell investors? Yeah, so basically we, uh, we've reviewed the strategy top to bottom, reviewed the pipeline, um, looking at where the near-term opportunities really are in terms of robustness of that pipeline, really to look at early, early opportunity revenue and uh, secure those opportunities uh, for us. In terms of uh, other areas, manufacturing uh, readiness, so by that I mean having the appropriate capacity to be able to meet those early opportunities. Uh, technical support is really key to what we do, so we're engaged heavily with customers, not just commercially in terms of sales guys to, uh, to procurement people, but it's a very intensive uh, involvement in terms of technical uh, advice to customers to really get them to the stage where they need to be uh, integrating our product into their technology. And then we have determined also to be a lot more uh, vocal in terms of what we do and how we do it. We generated over many years some outstanding performance data. Why not share that with the industry? And um, so specific to the paint and coatings industry, for example, um, we've recently been presenting to uh, a wide range of audiences, the European Coating Show, which is pretty much the premier uh, opportunity in, in Europe. Uh, for paints and coatings applications, and then the, uh, to the National Association of Corrosion Engineers in the United States. Uh, that data, extremely well received, creates new opportunities for engagement. And then latterly to the investor community, again, just to be much more uh, present with that community in terms of sharing some of the milestones that uh, are upcoming and uh, to create uh, that sense of awareness of what we're doing. I understand you're also presenting at the Graphene Summit in Washington, which I believe is one of the global premier events for, for this industry. What will you be saying there? What, what's your message? So really um, twofold. So we'll be presenting the company. Obviously, we've recently joined the National uh, Graphene Association. Um, there's also the opportunity to participate within their council, um, which is a policy-making group. Um, as graphene is an emerging material, uh, technology, we're able to uh, engage at that level looking at uh, things like product specifications and just how the industry engage with graphene uh, coming into the market. Mm. Um, I just want to ask about the, the, the management. Where do you come from? Where, do, have, do you orig originate from within the intellectual property side of the business? You said you came uh, relatively late in terms of the company itself, but how far back in history do you go with this business? Um, with this business, I started with them in a business development role uh, in the United States in 2015 and then became chief exec in uh, 2018. In the, middle, background? the middle of the year. My background is in high performance materials, so running businesses um, within the United States. My background prior to that has been in the high performance composite materials industry, so carbon fibre materials principally for the aerospace sector, running a number of businesses in the United States. One final question is the 8.2 million you have in the bank. I want to bring up the share price, mm -hmm. uh, and I know that you've got a market cap of around about 15 odd mm -hmm. million sterling at the moment. Explain what investors will be buying into at these sort of levels, bearing in mind the cash on the balance sheet, and the projected path for cash burn and where you see the business going with what you've got. Yeah, so currently we're, um, we're at a level where um, in terms of technology development and in terms of product offering, we're at that stage of, uh, of early revenue. Um, there are some great things coming through in, in our view. Clearly it's about uh, delivery of revenue. That is our prime focus and we see that as our key objective as a management team right the way through the business. Um, in terms of buying into this technology, you know, what we have is an amazing technology platform. We're very, very focused uh, on specific industry targets, both paints and coatings, composite materials, and allied 
uh, opportunities, and then the emerging batteries market, as you mentioned earlier. So there are some great opportunities. We see some real traction, in, especially in the area of uh, the paints and coatings industry. We talked about Airbus earlier, and that will come uh, in due course uh, with revenue opportunities as well. One, one, one final question. What do you see as the, as the big kick that uh, the share price needs? What catalyst is that uh, going to drive shares up? What, what do you see as the next year in terms of milestones? It's about revenue. That's mm -hmm. everything to do with this business, creating creating revenue, creating good news, creating momentum for the business. Yeah, well, look, we look forward to hearing how it goes. But in the meantime, thank you so much indeed for joining us. It's uh, Adrian Potts, who's the chief executive of Applied Graphene Materials.